Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another challenging and very interesting question on radical equations. Equation is fifth root of x plus 100 minus fifth root of x minus 111 equal to 1. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started by considering this minus sign into this radical. So I'll be writing our equation as fifth root of 100 plus x plus fifth root of 111 minus x and RHS will be 1. Now I will use substitution. So let us consider our first radical. This is A and second radical if this is B. Then first equation is there. It would be a plus b equal to 1. Directly we can write. Now let's use substitution. And I can write two equations a power 5. It would be 100 plus x. And b power 5. It would be 111 minus x. Let us add both. So I will be having a power 5 plus b power 5. This will be equal to 211. So our system is clear. A plus B equal to 1 and A power 5 plus B power 5 equal to 211. This we have to solve for the value of A or B so that we can find out X. Let me write here. A plus B equal to 1 and A power 5 plus B power 5 equal to 211. Now I will consider cubing of this equation. So a plus b whole cube, 1 cube. Let's apply algebraic formula. So a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b and RHS will be 1 cube so 1. Now a plus b is again 1. First equation. So a cube plus b cube plus 3ab equal to 1 or I can write a cube plus b cube this will be equal to 1 minus 3ab this equation I will use little later once I will expand a plus b whole power 5 so we should be aware of expansion coefficients so I will use Pascal triangle 1 1 for power 2, 1, 2, 1. For power 3, we will use coefficients 1, 3, 3, 1. For power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And for required power 5, I will write 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 would be our expansion coefficients. Let us write expansion here. So I will write a plus b whole power 5. Let me write here the expansion coefficients 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. I will be considering 1, 1 altogether, 5, 5 altogether, and 10, 10 altogether. So I will write for coefficient 1, a power 5 plus b power 5. Done. Now coefficient 5. In bracket, I need to write a power 4b plus a b power 4. For coefficient 10, I will write in the bracket a cube b square plus a square b cube. Now I will take common from the brackets a power 5 plus b power 5 as it is plus 5 a b is common. So in bracket, I will be writing a cube plus b cube. Then I will take 10 times a square b square is common here. So in bracket it would be a plus b left. And left hand side it is a plus b whole power 5. Now I will apply all the values which we know. So a cube plus b cube 1 minus 3 ab. Let me write here a plus b equal to 1. So 1 power 5. a power 5 plus b power 5. This was 2, 1, 1, equation 2. 
plus 5 ab and this we already calculated 1 minus 3 ab and a plus b is 1 so i will write here 10 a square b square now i will take 211 to the lhs so it will become 1 minus 211 equal to 5 ab in bracket 1 minus 3 ab plus 10 a square b square now this will be minus 210 and rhs would be as it is 5 ab in bracket 1 minus 3 ab plus 10 a square b square now this equation is divisible by 5 so let's divide by 5 so here i will be writing minus 42 equal to ab n bracket 1 minus 3 ab then we'll be writing 2 a square b square let's expand rhs i will write minus 42 equal to ab 1 minus 3 ab then we have 2a square b square let's expand i will write ab minus 3a square b square plus 2a square b square and this will give us ab minus a square b square and left hand side is minus 42 now let us take all the terms to lhs so i will have a square b square minus ab minus 42 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation in ab. I can apply quadratic formula. So I will be writing here ab will be equal to minus b. So minus of minus 1, 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 1 square again 1 minus 4ac. So plus 168 divided by 2a, a is 1, so 2. So this will give us 1 plus minus square root 169 divided by 2. Or I can write 1 plus minus, this will be 13 over 2. Let me write here 1 plus minus 13 over 2. This is our ab. So with plus sign, I will write 14 over 2. With minus sign, it will be negative 12 over 2. So 14 over 2 is 7. And negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. So we have two values of AB. Now I will consider our first equation of the system, A plus B equal to 1. So I can frame a plus b equal to 1 with a b equal to 7. First system and second system a plus b equal to 1 with our second a b value minus 6. This is our system 2. Let us solve 1 by 1. So I will write here a plus b equal to 1 with a b 7. Now consider one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. Then we have sum of roots and product of roots. So we can write here quadratic equation in a itself. a square minus sum of roots. So 1a or a plus product of roots 7 equal to 0. Now I will calculate discriminant only. It is b square. So minus 1 is square minus 4 times 1 times c value is 7 so this will give us 1 minus 28 as we can see discriminant is coming out negative so it will generate complex solutions only so what we will do we will reject this solution as we are looking for real values now i will be writing our second system it was a plus b equal to 1 
with AB is equal to negative 6. Again, I will use the same language. Think about one quadratic equation whose roots are A and B. Then this is sum of roots. This is product of roots. We can frame one quadratic equation in A itself. It would be A square minus sum of roots 1. So 1A or A plus product of roots equal to 0. Now I will solve using factorization method. So I will be writing minus A as minus 3A plus 2A minus 6 equal to 0. From first two terms, A is common, A minus 3. From last two, 2 is common, A minus 3 equal to 0. So I can write A minus 3 times a plus 2 equal to 0. Conclusion from here is a is equal to 2 with negative sign and 3. Negative 2 and 3. Let me write here. a is equal to negative 2 and 3. Now remember our substitution was a equal to fifth root of 100 plus x. So I can write from here a power 5 will be 100 plus x. So let us find out a power 5 here. So it will be minus 2 power 5 and 3 power 5. So I can write a power 5 will be equal to minus 2 power 5 minus 32 and 3 power 4 is 81 times 3 243. Now I will replace a power 5 with 100 plus x. So 100 plus x equal to negative 32 and 243. Now take away 100 from both the sides. We will get our solutions. So minus 32 minus 100 minus 132. Our first real solution. And 243 minus 100. So 143 will be our second real solution. Now we are going to verify whether it is true or not. So let me consider here. I will write verification. And let us consider our first solution. X is equal to minus 132. So I will begin with LHS minus 132. So I will be writing here fifth root of this is our equation x plus 100. So can we write minus 32 directly? Minus 132 plus 100 minus 30 minus fifth root of x minus 111. So minus 132 minus 111 minus 243. This value should come out 1. Let's check. I will write fifth root of minus 32 is minus 2 whole power 5 minus fifth root of minus 243 is minus 3 whole power 5. Now I can cancel fifth root with power 5. So it is left with minus 2 minus of minus 3. So minus 2 plus 3. It is 1 and it is our RHS. So this is true value or true solution. Now let us consider x is equal to 143. So I will be writing again LHS. This time fifth root of x plus 100. So I will be writing here 143 plus 100, 243. Minus fifth root of 143 minus 111. So it will be 32 this time. It should come out 1. Let's check fifth root of this is 3 power 5 minus fifth root of this is 2 power 5. Now fifth root power 5, fifth root power 5 will be over 3 minus 2 which will give us our required RHS 1. So this is also verified solution. This brings the end of the video friends. Do not 
forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye